All right. Well, as we do once or twice a week or as stuff comes up, we are joined by content producer Ruby Griffith, who takes care of all our online opinion pieces and keeps stuff moving in merch and everything to tell us what's happening elsewhere on the platform. Um, Ruby, uh, we had Bryce Edwards mention today, he's got a new column up and a piece by Graham Adam that's proving really popular. Yes, definitely. Um, so Bryce's piece is on the need to depoliticise public service. Yeah. So just talking about Rod Campbell's statement, um, you know, in regards to the, um, the National Party and Chris Luxon. He kind of goes into detail as to why it's a problem. The other politicians' reactions, like David Seymour um, and, oh goodness, who else? I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah. there are other um, p- p- politicians that he touches on and their reactions. Yeah. And he looks in depth at why it's a problem and the wider effects of statements like this. So yeah. it's definitely worth checking out, especially yeah. if you guys touched on it this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Graham Adams talks about the Tusiata Avia poem and just the kind of implications of that and casual racism and how stuff kind of has a bit of a it's a bit of a you know um hypocrisy really yeah and he talks about the hypocrisy that you know uh, brown people are allowed to be racist, but white people aren't. Basically. Yes, yeah, pretty yeah. much. And how, you know, stuff um, is not about censoring, or they, they usually censor mm. swear words and all that kind of stuff in videos. But then in this instance, they've decided not to censor her because it's her artwork and they want her to fully express her artwork. But, you know, it seems a bit hate speechy, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, no, so that article is definitely worth checking out by Graham Adams. He is one of our regular contributing writers and he works really, really hard at delivering a great great content for you all. Yeah, that is true. All right, now, I know we've had issues because we've had some of our back-end people travelling and everything. I'm getting a lot of people saying, where is the new merch and what is the new merch going to be, Ruby? Well, the new merch is the water bottles. Yeah. And I think we just got some caps back in stock as well. People have been screaming at me about the caps. Where are the caps? (laughs) The caps are coming back. So what I'm waiting on is I'm waiting on an OK from the developer to put that up on our website. Okay. And then they will be up. So there'll be the caps and the water bottles. So sometime this week, um, I will be making a post on our socials yeah. when the water bottles are live. So just keep an eye out Excellent. for that. And what about those t-shirts, those golf t-shirts? The which golf I'll t-shirts. be modelling in the studio, of course, when they do arrive. <laughs> well, the golf t-shirts, unfortunately, we are waiting for the stock to come into the country. So okay. we're going to be waiting until about May for those. So you will have to wait a little while, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'll have to have my patience. Uh, that's great, Rube. Um, and, and thank you for all the great you work you do. Keep us up to date. Thank the you. opinions columns really are widely read and they're really widely distributed too on LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere else. Absolutely. And they're well worth, a, well worth a read. Thank you, Ruby. So Thank that, you. That's an update on our merch and, and our opinion columns and everything else.